Hello, everybody. It's Tuesday. Uh, maybe I should show you my face. Um, and I don't know why they show an Alan's face, but it's Tuesday. We're kind of doing this on the fly because Alan's off to a Detroit Red Wing game. Um, I was telling him that my daughter, who's at um, at UW Madison, loves college hockey, and she's never gone to a game before getting there, and she just loves the action to it. So. Um, so yeah, so, and I've told her more than once that I'm, I'm planning a trip out there to, to go visit with her. Um, we in Wisconsin don't have a professional hockey team. Uh, we have the Admirals, oh. which are, uh, AHL, I think uh, they're like a semi pro or whatever. Um, our closest ones are the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, is it the Blackhawks? Yeah, I think it's the Blackhawks. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so bear with us as we do this on the fly. Um, quite a bit of news. Um, so someone had asked, well, a couple things. Someone had asked about uh, the Millionaire Mind um, seminar uh, in San Antonio, uh, the weekend of the 18th and 19th. Um, Alan and I are flying there the 17th. Um, we're not flying together. We're just meeting at the San Antonio airport. Um, but it's a two-day seminar in regards to um, self-progress, um, making the most of yourself, um, being the type of person that you should be. Um, everybody's a winner. Uh, you just need to realize that. And Daniel Gomez is um, quite the motivational speaker in regards to that. It's it's somewhat in the lines of um, he Harv Ecker, um, and your thoughts become actions. Um, so hopefully you guys can join us. I posted again earnings for tonight. Nothing really stood out to me except for Mattel. Um, which had a tremendous amount of calls come in at the in near the close. Um, I ran this with 15 minutes to go before the bell, and it was signaling a lot of calls. I think Mattel's down, but not by much after hours. Um, the big one is uh, Google. Uh, who reported, um, and they were pretty flat. Um, so 1.4 million to 1.5 million um, the last 10 minutes. Alan says they they missed on both sides. Yeah. Yeah, missed on both. Um, Weaker than expected earnings and revenue. Yeah. You know, I've been having problems with my CNBC app. Because when I search for a company and then I try to search for another one, it doesn't work. Um, so Google's down 6% after hours. Now, just so we're in the same um, mindset. <clears throat> Wait till Google drops. Get confirmation of the drop. Use a five-minute rule if you can. And um, I'm thinking if you bring up Google, uh, usually the, the lowest I think I've seen Google is 98. It's at 98. It always bounces off 98. Okay. You still got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and then usually the markets are bullish going into Halloween. Um, and the other um, trade that you guys may not be in, I'm in on it. I probably should give you the trade is uh, Hershey. Uh, so you would want to get into Hershey on Friday. It's up about $6 since Friday, um, but um, it does it every year. So um, you got Google there? Uh, I can go back to Google. Yeah, uh, move down to Hershey. But yeah, here's Google on the daily. All right. Now, go ahead and do the, um, um, the uh, third, um, do, do the three-month um, Google. Three-month, one day. You know, three three month. Um, you know the SMA. Yeah, which is so. And, the, and I'm going to bring it up on my phone right now. 
So uh, the green line is the 10 and the yellow line is the 20. And then again, the red is the 50. Is, it, is, oh. that, three, is that three months or not? Yeah. Yeah, three months. Um, and then uh, let me give you, this is what I like about Fidelity. I mean, it still works. I mean, in terms of the, you're changing their platform. I don't like a lot what they're doing, but this part still works. If you go to go, if you go to uh, Fidelity, you double tick it. Uh, let's see here. It'll tell you what the SMA is. So the SMA is one hundred dollars and twenty five cents. The thing is, is that my experience is the stock has got nowhere to go but down. It was at 104.93 today. And the thing is, is it's overextended. So it's it, it, literally what you want to do is you want to get that as close to that line as you can, that bottom line. So what you're looking at is the 20 day SMA at three months. So um, I would have never taken the Google trade because it's too overextended. See it? Yeah. I mean, so here's your, so the, 20 SMA is let me, bring, let me bring up Mattel to see if that's what threw us off of Mattel today. Yeah, Mattel, the same thing. Um, the SMA is 1956. Um, you know, same thing. Let me just show you what it should look like for you. So it automatically comes up. That's why I like Fidelity. Um, and then, um, um, and then you mentioned Hershey. Yeah. Now, uh, this is Rite Aid. <laughs> See how it came back to the uh, twenty day SMA. The yeah. twenty day SMA is four seventy. I was kind of intrigued with it. I had fifty contracts on it. Um, uh, you can buy 50 contracts for 250, uh, 55 cents each for the 450s. Um, and then the thing is, is that um, about 11, 12, you could have you could have sold it for um, 3,000, so 250 to 3,000. Um, yeah, and you know, I because uh, I was chatting with someone today in regards to a couple stocks, but Rite Aid was one of them, and I. I'm kicking myself for not pulling the trigger on the four and a half calls because they were, I think, 30 cents when I looked at them. Um, well, 30 cents is what they sold for. You could have bought them for a nickel. Well, at the start, yeah. So four Oh, and a yeah, half. yeah. Oh, no, yeah. At one point, they were 30 cents. They went up to 60, uh, 65 cents, I think, 60 yeah. or 65. Yeah, when I looked, they were 30. So, yeah, they could have been a double, and I just... I don't know why I just decided not to play it, but um, so yeah, um, but yeah, Rad had a pretty nice day. Uh, another one that I was in was Neo, um, kind of like a baby Tesla. And if you look at this chart, it's a bearish chart, but there was a gap um, here that, oh, this isn't Neo. Another one that I played was Neo. And if you look, it is somewhat bearish, but there is a gap between here that it basically filled. Um, and that's what I was playing today. It had a nice, if we look at this on the five minute. I think um, um, Rite Aid, let me just show you something, Brian. Um, and I, um, well, you probably can't even see them. There you go. Well, I can't really. Um, if you go to the uh, Rite Aid, on uh, uh, November 18th, which is your monthly. I mean, it is just front loaded at $6 calls. Okay, so let's go back, Rad, at the November 4th? Uh, November 18th. Oh, November 18th, the monthlies. And you know what? Let me. Sometimes they'll hide there because I was trying to figure out why. It was up 24% at one time. Um, it's only Tuesday. I'm like, ah, what the heck? I'm going to just, you know, let it, let it go. Um, 
you know, because I'm kind of intrigued. Why, why did it go so high? Look at the November 18th. That's your monthly. Even today, I like the calls that were bought. I mean, it was it was pretty pretty dynamic. The 18th. Oh yeah. I mean, I say to myself, why do they buy all those on that? Because still, you know, that's you know they're they're paying twenty dollars a piece. So you got nineteen hundred eighteen times twenty. You know, what is that? Um, so they still spent. 34,000 bucks, but I think someone knows something. Well, and that's a 26% move from today, four and a half up to six. Um, yeah. So yeah, that is pretty interesting. That would be one to watch the rest of the day. Um, and let's look at, let's filter, oops. The heck, why don't you bring up Hershey? Let's filter. I should have gave everybody that trade. Um, my experience is you don't hold Hershey um, the day of Halloween. It usually doesn't go up. It's kind of like buy the news. So um, I was going to hold till Friday, but we'll see what happens. You got Hershey up there? Uh, yeah, I was looking at the November strikes on the. Yeah, look at all those calls. Um, six calls. Well, I still remember a guy who went to the seminar for um, uh, Think or Swim had a seminar, and, and the guy says he literally uh, got a second mortgage on his house, bought $50,000 worth of call options. <laughs> Definitely not the year to do it um, because Hershey always goes up in Halloween. Uh, and uh, you guys bought uh, 50,000 of call options and uh, he lost. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's Hershey's. And yeah, look at that. Um, and Halloween is October 31st. Is that yeah, right? which is a Monday. So I'm thinking it's going to, it could run, um, you know, you could, but uh, I'm playing it for this week. I mean, I got a $5 move already. So. You know, well, it's sooner or later this has to come back down to earth. I mean, well, yeah, this is this is all um, uh, news or all um, you know based on um, you know feeling good. It's Halloween, candy. Right. Everybody's buying Hershey. You know, right, exactly. getting on the stock kind of thing. So, um, and you know, I just noticed this is probably one of the few stocks that's above its two hundred SMA. Geez, I think everything is above its 200 SMA right well, now. Well, I don't know, because let's go look at Goog. Here's its 200 SMA. Um, oh, way up there. Yeah. Well, you know, it had the stock split, so that's a, a tough one. Go to, like, Visa. Here's Visa, where it's 200 all, SMA. Yeah, yeah, they're all uh, below that. You're right. Yeah. We, yeah. Uh, we, now, why you got that on there, Brian, uh, let me just let everybody know how the, what I found this works. Uh, that, that green is, is representative of the 10 or the 20 day SMA. Oh, yeah, this is the 10. The green is the 10. The 20 is the, or the yellow is the 20. Yeah, so the rule of thumb is I got taught this from a guy named, I thought, Jim Ronco uh, when I first started trading. And uh, he says he makes millions of dollars. I said, well, how come I lose so much? <laughs> and he says, because you don't follow the rules. I said, well, what's the rule? Show me the rules. He said, well, I don't show everybody this, but let me show you this. And he showed me the 10 and the 20. He says, when the 10 uh, crosses, you go ahead and buy calls. When it goes ahead and goes through, you buy puts. And look look what it would have done on this one. Right, here's the cross. You know, and That's the cross going up, but look at the cross going down. Yep, yeah. And speaking of crosses, uh, intraday still in review. So we, I've talked about this before let me run it and, and i should look and see i should look and see if this intraday stock signals can do it on the daily chart because right now it's set to the minute chart um but you can select which two moving averages to watch and it will alert you when there's a crossover um right now it's just set up for intraday 
uh, looking at the one minute chart. Um, but it may be, maybe behoove you or behoove me to add this daily tracking to be able well, to- Well, why don't you bring up Rite Aid and we'll see how it would work today. Bring so, up the one day, because um, usually I find that's not a bad rule. Yeah, let's look. So you would have, you had Rite Aid. Um, you, you see, you would have been um, calls, 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 calls. Um, I don't know if you would have had a signal there or not, but it looks to me you would have had calls all the way to the top. Yeah, because and then you would have had a reversal. Yeah, yeah, right at at a pretty monstrous day. Right there. And then uh, you would have got out. And then, um, you know, what a nice return there. Right, exactly, yeah. Um, so See, yeah. My, pro my problem is I would have sold, uh, if it was Thursday, I would have sold. But I'm thinking Tuesday, you know, I, I got, my interest is peaked. Why did, why did Rite Aid go up 25% today? <laughs> um, maybe <laughs> someone said the funny thing is, is it started out down today right yeah you know someone said something about news and um well, let me see because i was chatting with them earlier um Legal firms looking for client money back. Read the news. So I haven't looked yet. Offers point of care. No, wait. Right age shares are tracking higher. Not seeing specific company specific news. So yeah, nobody knows why. Let me see, can I do this? Oh. Not seeing company specific news to explain momentum. So nobody really knows. Well, let me help you out. I'm not a big Rite Aid person. Um, <laughs> yeah. Even though I probably own 100,000 shares at one time, thank God I got out and only lost 25,000 on it. Um, the, uh, I mean, because, I mean, I never would have thought, you know, with the Trump in the office and the uh, Republicans um, not blocking, um, you know, the sale that, um, that um, Walgreens and Rite Aid wouldn't have done the deal. So, I'm thinking I'm going to make some good money, and and uh, that didn't work out. The good thing is, is I held on long enough that it it wasn't that bad of a, a dip, but more than I would like. So you got to understand, it was a twenty to one reverse split. So right now, Rite Aid is probably only trading for like a half a million dollars or five hundred million or some crazy amount, and that that is that's what it's it's is trading at its worth. So it's it, if you do the equivalents to you, it's really trading at like twenty cents a a, a a share right now. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You know, and I'm laughing because I know that you're such a anti rad person, and and the CEO's head should be on a spike because of that um, failed merger uh, way back. And I don't even. It was a couple of years ago, wasn't it? It. Yeah, it's probably about two years ago. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So yeah. So when any, yeah. So um, yeah, and, and you know, I mean, they just got caught in in that whole thing. But uh, uh, the worst mistake they ever did, which they never should have done, is they got they got nervous about getting delisted, and because they got um, worried about delisting, they did a twenty to one reverse split, which is the kiss of death. Yeah, and so. I mean, it had it had nowhere to go, but down no nobody realizes it's not worth anything. Um, I mean, it's it's just not. I mean, it, you could buy the company for nothing, and it, it it does billions of dollars in sales. And they had people that wanted to buy the company, and that um, they wouldn't sell it, and they were offering eighteen dollars a share. 
which is a joke because it's not really eighteen dollars a share. If you know my my point, um, you know. So um, the uh, uh, yeah, they did twenty four billion dollars in revenue. Twenty four billion dollars. Um, so um, and then with their merger and their thing. Their total debt capital on the quarter is only 105%. It used to be like 600%. So, um, you know, it's uh, it's not, you know, a disaster. Um, but the thing is, is the stock has no uh, value right now. Right, yeah. Oh, you're bringing it up? You know, what I was, was yeah, I'm going to go look at. Market cap, 234 million, 232 million on... 13 billion in sales. <laughs> so so the, if you understand the, the stupidity of this, bring that up again, Brian. It is almost funny. If you go ahead and look at the, the because of the, the reverse, um, um, the reverse um, uh, thing on it is that, um, that that's why the return on equity is so low because they did the 20 to one reverse split. Where, where was that market cap at? I think you just had it. Uh, market cap is above. And you still got 36% um, um, institutionals. So you got 50, 60, 60% institutionals. Um, market cap, two, 232 million. So they were offered offered um, 1.5 billion, uh, to my knowledge, uh, for uh, their drug um you know, the drug business or something. So the, the company that offered him $16 a share, you know, which is still undervalued because they're like, uh, what we'll do is we'll sell off the drug part of it, which is like a prescription company that does the prescriptions. And we'll still go ahead and, you know, make out because we'll get the company for free then. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, but uh, yeah, I mean, the thing is, is any way you look at it, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, if anything, the company should be worth one billion. You know, I mean, if anything. So, I mean, you're talking like, you know, uh, it, it's still so undervalued. It's just. So the thing is, is that I, I when I saw it get to four, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna take a, I take a run at it. Just picked up fifty contracts. Nothing to you know, get excited about. It was kind of exciting watching it today. Um, right. So, um, but I think we talked today to kind of review a little bit. Uh, SMA at uh, three months. Um, What's well, always going to tell you, um, you know, where we're at on it. Um, how the pros do it is they use the SMA lines. 10 after it goes through the 20, it's going to be a, a the stock's going up. Uh, below it, it's going down. Um, most of your hedge fund managers that I know of um, swear by it. So it's it's a it's it's a big thing. If you right. used the five minute uh, rule today, you would have been in right eight, I think. Uh, it triggered pretty pretty uh, early in the day. So yeah. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. And there are ways to scan for stocks that have crossed moving averages in the past, how many other days you want. Um, and maybe I'll try to put that together and, and add that. But I know you're kind of on the way out. Um, I am on the way out. Headed to Detroit. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I guess we have to switch over to hockey and basketball because football season is over now kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, we still got a game. I'm supposed to go to uh, Michigan, Michigan State this weekend. Oh, nice. Um, uh, if everything goes right, I'm supposed to be on the field uh, with uh, uh, Jim Harbaugh. We'll see how that turns out. So, cool. um, you know, we'll. Uh, um, uh, I think we're going to spank Michigan State. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so, <laughs> cross fingers. Yeah, I uh, we the Badgers beat Purdue last weekend, which I was quite shock so it was an espn game too actually mm -hmm. yeah sweet all right yeah. brian we'll let you go sounds good have a good night okay have fun you night. take care of that sick one i know yeah <laughs> <laughs> have fun at the game tonight okay we'll talk to you sure bye on
I'm going to scan for stocks at least $6. And I'm going to sure. add, I know he had left, add filter. Is it in pattern? Pattern. Add filter. ADX. Crossovers. Moving average crossover. So it's in studies. Let's get this. Give me one second. Okay. So in studies, moving average crossover, let's put the 10 simple moving average crosses above the 20 simple moving average based on the close. And if we edit this, this is actually ThinkScript. And you can edit this ThinkScript with and then it will fill in within five bars. And as long as it's correct or the code is correct, it'll allow you to save this. They say Goog, but as we all know, Goog, Goog might be one to watch tomorrow. Because here's your crossover. Bump up, bump up. We're going to be down quite heavily, but it may be watching the five minute and earning uh, an entry to get back into this long. So I hope this helps. I hope everyone has a good night. Um, I know there's some outstanding questions as far as trading the five minute rule, waiting for signals, that sort of thing. And um, Unfortunately, Alan's off to the uh, Red Wing game. Otherwise, we kind of covered that today. So um, I'm still waiting for this to pass review. Uh, it's still in review, um, but hopefully soon it will be available for everyone. And for a short period of time, it'll be free. Um, you can use this app without paying for a subscription. So hopefully everybody has a great night. A good rest of the trading week, and uh, we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye, everyone.